Alright LEGO fans, welcome back to the coolest LEGO channel on YouTube. And I mean that. This is going to be the coolest channel on YouTube, so stick around guys. Bricks and Studs is going to be flying through the stars and in the clouds one day. So, first off I'm just going to say, this is of course the LEGO Creator Expert Series Assembly Square. Now this is the 10th anniversary guys, so these sets are limited. It's been around for about a year. Uh, it's actually came out early 2017, so not even a year, guys, but I guarantee you it's not going to be around for long. This is the biggest LEGO set that I myself, Matt, from Bricks and Studs, has ever built, ever, in the history of ever. And th that's not including uh, custom mocks. I've built bigger things customly, but never bought a set this big and actually built it. So I picked this up for around $270 at the LEGO store near my area where I reside. Um, this set has 4,002 pieces. It's for ages 16 plus, hence the Expert Series. Uh, it's set 10,255, and of course it is the Assembly Square. So it stands about 13.5 inches at its highest point. Don't let that fool you. A foot and an inch doesn't sound too tall, but this thing's got weight, it's got girth, it's got detail, it is completely, every single little level is a store or some type of shop. There's even an apartment, guys. We're gonna get into that as well. This thing is a Lego enthusiast's dream. So, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I have been very hesitant to review this set just because I don't want to mess it up. I've been wanting to wait till I have a better studio. My studio right now is completely bonkers. There's nothing good about it. My lighting is terrible, but you know what? I don't care. I know you guys all wanna see this review, so I'm gonna do it because I'm anxious to do it too. And, you know, I love this set and I just really want to show you guys everything I know about it because it's great. So it's going to be hard for me because I may miss some details, but just let me know in the comments what I can work on and everything, but I'm going to try as hard as I can to give you all the key factors of what you need to know about this amazing set. So as you can see, this thing is massive. The box is thick as heck. I will tell you that right now. Um, but guys, we're not here to see a friggin' box, are we? No, we're here to see a friggin' awesome Lego set. So let's get this out of the way. Okay, guys, welcome to the assembly square. Now this thing is huge. Um, for a Lego set, it is absolutely incredible. Now forgive my lighting, it's not that great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really need to get a good studio, you know, but that's kind of hard when money doesn't grow on trees. But we're gonna do whatever we can with what we've got. So I'm gonna start with the figures, guys. You can already get a good view of it. This thing comes with a lot of figures. It comes with eight to be exact, and then a couple animals. Actually, quite a few animals because there is a pet shop. Let's start with the figures. So we've got this tiny little uh, marsupial. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's a chihuahua-looking deal right here. So that's really neat. Very small, very micro scale. So there's our little chihuahua right there. Nothing really special about him. Kind of cool to have him in there. Now guys, they all share the same face. Now that's kind of the thing with the Creator Series is they kind of all share a simple face because it, you're not buying these for the figures, you're buying these for the architecture, the creativity, the all the different cool uh, opportunities you'll have to uh, customize these sets, use all the cool custom parts. Um, so yeah guys, let's start with the ballerina. So there is a dance studio. So she comes with the dance studio. Each one of these figures is themed for their own little shop or store that comes in this set. So we've got the ballerina. Nothing too crazy about her. She's pretty cool. Uh, she's got a little tutu on right there. Very generic face. As you can see, she's got some printing on the back, nothing on the legs. So pretty cool they threw that in there. Just a standard hair piece as well. And then this guy right here. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys that are from the 90s and below would uh, recognize this hairdo. It almost looks like Bill Murray, guys, from Ghostbusters and all sorts of other movies that he's in. But yeah, definitely like that hair piece. The first thing I thought of was Bill Murray when I saw this minifigure. Maybe I'm just crazy, but yep, so here he is. He's got his nice plaid checkered shirt front and back. Let's put him down. All right, moving on. Since we don't have a whole lot of memory on this camera we're gonna do the best with what we've got so this is a barista now she works in the coffee shop because there is a coffee shop guys and he is the head of the music store so there's a music store as well she's got some uh, printing on the back cool hair piece uh, just kind of a regular generic looking person working at a coffee shop look at that cool little uh, coffee mug with some straws and a smiley face on her uh, cool little apron so let's move on Along here is the pet store lady. So she runs the pet store. She's got that cool uh, 
dated hair wig that looks absolutely horrendous. I'd rather just put a mop around her head, but hey, it looks cool, so whatever. Um, the minifigures are not the coolest part about this set, I'll tell you that right now. So yeah, she runs the pet store. Let's move along. Here is the uh, photo studio guy. So he runs the, there's a photo studio where they take pictures, portraits, family, blah, 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 etc. He's got his cool uh, signature little hat on that kind of hangs over one side. He's got a mustache to cover up that generic smile that each and every one of these little fellas has. Uh, you got that cool, oh, so it looks like he's wearing a hoodie. Got that hood on the back. I haven't even looked at the back of this figure. Because I don't care about these mirror figures, to be honest. It's cool to have them. It's cool to station them in their little areas, but that's all they're good for. There's nothing really special about them. Here is the dentist, because there is a dentist's office as well. Got this cool, uh, almost looks like Luke Skywalker's hair from the older Lego Star Wars sets from the first generation rollout of those. Um, he's got his white gloves. That actually looks really good. This has a really good look to it. I mean, very simple. Dentists don't really wear anything that extravagant anyways, but... Got a couple pocket tools in there and his little shirt. Really cool. Got a, some back printing. They all have back printing, which looks good. Here is the chef. Now this is really cool. <laughs> I like the chef. I like the hat. Very useful. You can pretty much put him anywhere because, guys, not going to lie to you, not only is there a dentist's office, but there's also a bakery. So right after going to the bakery and eating all your treats, you can go right up to the dentist's office and get your teeth cleaned, if that's what you're about. So, yeah, he's got his little... Uh, mascot or ascot whatever you want to call that wrapped around his neck I don't know chef terms guys I'm definitely not a chef expert I do like to cook but not that much so let's move on this is just a citizen she's almost probably more of a customer she lives in the apartment which is located on the very top level so it's really cool guys everything about that apartment is absolutely fantastic so you can see she's wearing a hoodie as well but not only is she a citizen she is a mom and she is a mom to the first ever actual minifigure scale Lego baby whose face happens to be more detailed than any other face in the set. Look at that guys, I'm having a hard time focusing on him because he's so tiny, but this is a scale baby. This is a minifigure baby guys, this is so cool. I mean, it's cool to see this in the set because I've actually never seen one of these in my life. So the hands don't clamp on anything, but they're the size that they can fit into the hands of a regular minifigure. So they can hold his hand, or he can hold a rattle, or whatever. Got a cool little uh, stud on top of his head, so that's really neat, guys. It's really cool they threw that in there. So, that is the figures of the set, guys. So let's uh, move along. And you can see there's me just chilling right outside the bakery. We're going to start from the top level and go down. But before I show you the interior, guys, I'd really just like you to... Take a minute to admire the absolute detail of the outside of this thing and the size and just the scale, everything is perfect. So here is a little stroller for that baby and the baby does fit in there, so that's cool. Let's get that out of the way actually. So let's get my guy out of the way too. Um, just look at this, look at this, look at the detail guys. Look at all these different uses for all these different little bricks and little tiles and this detailing, these are actually windows. I mean, it just, it looks so good. There's doors, there's railings, there's layer upon layer of detail. Yeah, they even use the shields from Nexonites in a white color to make it look like a little bit of a keystone that's upside down. It just, it looks so cool. Coming up onto the roof, you can see there's a skylight that goes straight into the ballerina studio. A little uh, door that actually leads to a stairway. I mean, guys, there's so much detail. Look right here, these pieces are dump truck grabbers, the little buckets they use to pick things up and scoop things up from the Technic series, from the construction series, but they managed to use it as a roof. I mean, guys, look at this. So look at the little uh, little street, the sidewalk that goes along here, and you can see it's supposed to look like cement, and then there's little drains that go down into the sewers, probably. You can see the street lights that absolutely look completely fantastic. There's some pins on the side, I'll show you that later, because it can connect to other expert buildings. You can see right here, the street lamp just uses a clear translucent Lego minifigure head with a little bit of a disc plate on top. I mean guys, there's just everything about this. I am in love with this set. I stare at it probably every day before I go to work. You can see there's these little tables outside the coffee shop with little seats for you to sit on. You can see that there's little plants out here and there's little details in the tiles. There's the water fountain that looks absolutely incredible. If you zoom in on it, it just looks so cool, guys. What's funny 
is with building this whole set, the very last part you'd think would be somewhere up here, right? Because you start from the bottom and work your way up. Nope, the last thing you build is actually that water fountain. So kind of a cool little fun fact for you. These are little street lamps right here. You got these multicolored little uh, overhangs that come over the seats for if it's on a rainy day and you still want to drink your morning cup of joe. They've even got these cool little signs. So that's one thing I need to point out to you before I get too off track. This set, there is not a single sticker used. In a 4,002 piece set, not a single sticker, guys. I love that because everything is brick built detail, you know? So you've got these cool little wedges along here and the nougat color. I mean, look at all these cool just combinations of bricks and angles that they were able to make. I mean, even this, they found a way to make all these different angles. I mean, look at this little pretzel because it's a bakery. That's the labeling for that. I mean, you can see a wedding cake through the window through these little translucent garage doors. Look at these little lights. I mean, it's just, there's so much detail. It really takes a real Lego fan to realize how much goes into this. I mean, you can see all the cool little ways they built the pillars and just all these mixes of different colors. There's a little bucket right there for the, maybe the caretaker that takes care of this assembly square. There's a broom in there, there's a shovel. Every door handle has its own little theme. The bakery's just a little red handle. The flower shop slash pet shop, which is right here, has a little flower doorknob. The coffee shop's got its own little cool looking modern door shape. The little uh, advertisement for the shop is a couple brick built roses. I mean, look at that guys. Just, I've never seen bricks combined like this to make the sort of details they used. I mean, right there, you see that right there? If you guys know it, you're, if you guys know your Lego facts, those are Thor hammers, guys. Those are from the Lego Superhero set. Those hammers belong in Thor's hand, but they found a way to make it detail. So much detail. There's little flower pots outside the windows. I mean, everywhere. Just flowers galore. It looks amazing. I mean, even right here. Instead of using windows for both, they have little drapes over those. Almost like the curtains are pulled down, but open just a little bit, halfway. I mean, right here. There's this little steeple at the very top in the navy blue color with these cool little... These are ice cream tops, but they made them in a silver color to make them look like just detail. It looks awesome. These little vents open up. I mean, there's, they used a chicken to make a little statue right there. It's so cool. I mean, I just love the way they did this. Very, very creative, guys. Very, very good look to the set. So let's... Uh, and there's a little alleyway back there. You can't see it too well, but there's a door so that you can go from the coffee shop over to the pet store. Let's turn it to the other side. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, every single modular building always has an ugly side. And technically, this is the ugly side of this building, but it still looks good. I mean, I have no problem looking at this. Like, it's not pretty, but it's not too ugly, you know? It doesn't all match up, but it's because you can see these are details shouting out from the inside. So, you can see there's the two pins to connect the detective's office that you can buy for the series. Right here, you can connect that up. But this side's boring, guys, so let's go to the back. Now, the back's very cool as well. Even though no one's really ever going to be looking at the back very often, you can see there's still detail everywhere throughout the set. Now, you can see these translucent green pieces that add lighting and fixture into the flower pet shop area. You can see this little area back here. That's the only play feature on the set, and I'll show you what it does once we get down into the bakery. But you can see there's a little door that lets you walk around in this little yard area. Uh, there's another little yard area that goes into the coffee shop with some plant growth coming up the wall. I mean, very creative. There's a little red carpet that goes in between the alleyway that connects the two buildings. Uh, there's a little bit of plant growth on top of the roof over that. There's a little street lamp light that comes over there to light the porch at nighttime. All these windows do open. It's just incredible. This little garbage can, let's uh, disconnect it actually so I can show you. Just goes right outside the door, but you can pop it open. And what you find inside is kind of neat. So it is a bakery, so you find some most likely expired a, an expired donut, an expired uh, decorative cookie, some cherries. I mean, it's so cool, guys. This site gets me really, or this set, sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm saying site, probably because it's such an amazing site to see. But this set just gets me excited. When I first opened this and dumped the millions of bags of plastic Legos out of this, I was like almost overwhelmed. I was like, how the heck am I going to finish this? You can see there's a little light right there. All these stairs with brick-built railing going up. Different use I've never seen before for railing. So let's turn around to the other ugly side, which is a little more ugly than the other one. But I like the choice that they used where it's not super thick because that would have taken away from detail. So 
All right, guys, who's ready to get started for the interior? So, sorry guys, a little shaky on the camera. We're gonna lift off, everything lifts off very conveniently. So we're gonna start with this building and work our way over. So starting with this top level, you can see this little roof. I mean, there's the room for all the minifigures to come up here and have a party or do whatever, maybe a bachelor party, I don't know, guys. Whatever you minifigures like to do, there's a little, uh, a uh, little bit of a roof opening right there for you to come up and get on top of the roof But who cares about the roof? We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you the ballet studio So the ballets and you can see you can't see through the roof. So it does allow some natural light into there um, You can okay getting started. This is the first ever Lego mirror that I've ever seen So there's a mirror for the there's a little bar for the little mini figure to hold on to There's a piano guys look at that a piano some stairs to get onto the roof very simple, but I mean, dance studios are simple because the only thing you're using is your own body and your own legs and hands and whatever. You don't need tools or anything. So this is one of the more simple areas, but it's really cool that they included this mirror. You know, we can put the little ballerina figure in here, show you what it's all about. See, that way she can see herself in the mirror. Look at that, guys, it's so cool. It's not even distorted, it's completely clear. So there's our ballerina studio you can see through all these really thick window wells it looks awesome this door does open so you can get out and get a fresh breath of air look down at the citizens and civilians walking around down here so as you can see you just lift it up all it does is sit on a few little studs to hold it in place now this is the music store so getting down into here there you can see there's a few guitars on the wall. There's an acoustic guitar and then there's also an electric guitar, which is so cool because I've actually never seen such a detailed little guitar, guys. They're just hanging on the wall. There's some more stairs. So technically it's very realistic because most of these buildings, there's no way for minifigures, if they were actually alive, to get through. But the stairs actually lead to every level and there's a way for them to get through everywhere without our help. So you can see there's a little bit of a railing. There's a little cash register, guys. It looks really cool. No stickers, brick built details. There's a little thing so you can pull it and go cha-ching. So let's put our little uh, guy in here. So yeah, guys, you can see there's some guitars hanging up. Then there's a drum set, guys. A complete and full drum set. So that looks absolutely incredible. And then there's a saxophone right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty dang sure that's a saxophone. So you can see there's a lot of cool little details in here for you to arrange figures around. Lots of room for you to add your own things as well. So if you're a, cre if you're a creative guy like myself, you'll want to add things and fill up all this extra space. And I think LEGO designed this that way on purpose so that you can kind of add your own mocks. And your creator assembly square will be a little different than everyone else's. So, yep, there's the music store, guys. Very cool. Lots of room in there. Pretty much has all the things you'd need to sell your own musical instruments. All right, guys. Now that we lift that up, here is one of the most detailed areas in the set. So you can see this is, of course, the coffee shop with lots of cool different tiling and it almost looks like rustic wood floors with this cool rug on the ground with lots of cool little checkered detail. You've got the cashier stand right here. You've got a really cool coffee maker back here. Uh, very simple. There's a printed piece right there. So there's a few printed pieces, but no stickers at all. So some drawers right there that probably hold all the creamers and the salt and pepper for your biscuits you'd order. Really cool looking set, guys. There's your little cashier, uh, cash register. There's a little brick built seat down there. A little table with a flower. These really cool little lamps that probably just allow a lot of little bit of dim light to shine on your table. It's really cool, guys. You got a little bench seat over here with your little table and you got a little uh, piece of pie on there it looks like. You've got a little lamp there. Sorry guys, trying to get the best angles. You can see there's a little lamp on, on the table. Uh, so guys, really cool. You can see the stairs. You can see the way that goes back out there. So you can get in out the door to come out the backyard. So guys, it looks really cool. You got a few mugs right there. Very detailed little shop for sure. And if you come to the outside, like I said, you can see there's tables for all the minifigures to sit on. Very, very scale to minifigure size. Looks very cool. Like the windows, very rustic looking in a way. Very modern, like these really cool stand up, almost like a little mini tree plants that are outside. There's your little uh, sign with the mug with the steam coming out from your hot coffee. So, absolutely incredible. I love that. This does not lift off of the base plate, so it's mounted where it's at. I'm not even going to try, guys. So, moving on. Here we come to the Lego fans' apartment. So, the roof, lots of detail as you can see, lots and lots of detail, absolutely love the detail. 
on the dentist's office, which is down there, you can see there's a little sign that says, uh, what does that say, guys? Um, why can I not read that? It's something, prevent yellowing dentist. Okay, so just an advertisement. Sorry, guys, my camera sucks. So, moving on. We're gonna lift this off just by picking up this little steeple right here. Now, guys, I didn't mention this before, but the reason this apartment is so cool is because it is a Lego fan's apartment. So it's a Lego themed apartment, guys. So a real live Lego fan would live in this apartment and it is amazing. So you come in, I really like how they close off this little thing so it's kind of separated from the rest of the dealio. So let's move it around a little. So you can see, I'm gonna start from the back. This is where you can walk out and you can go downstairs, and which is cool because this apartment's connected to pretty much everything you need to survive. I mean, they've got a bakery, coffee shop, pet store. They've got an outside barbecue grill place. I mean, it's cool. There's a photo studio. I mean, you really just need to go grocery shopping every once in a while. Other than that, you're entertained. So and once you come in, you can see there's, this is so cool. So if you go to the Lego store right now, you'll see that there's a Volkswagen T1 older style camping van that you can buy, which is a Lego set. And this is a mini version of that. It looks so cool with the white uh, white roof. Then you've got a little tank right there. You've got a mini Lego set, guys. I'm gonna see if I can pull this out and show you because this is really cool. It's, it's a little Lego set. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. So, sorry guys, it's kind of a tight fit for my large minifigure hands. But if you look, here is a legitimate expert Lego set for a hotel. So you can see where the Lego branding would be, the 16 plus on there, the picture of the Lego set. I mean, isn't that cool, guys? There's no back detail, but that is a little mini Lego set. That is so cool that they've got that. And it just kind of sits in this little nook right here in this little shelf, which is really cool. So there's your little sets. And then you come over here and this little blank wooden door opens up. And you can see there's a bathroom in there. So it's an older style toilet, more from the European era, but you can pull that little lever and it'll flush the toilet. It even looks like there's water in there, guys, because you put a translucent blue stud in there and it makes it look like water. There's a toilet paper roll on the ground. Here's your little box that has your pump and all the water in it. Really cool, just a little half bathroom, no shower in there, but it looks awesome. So I'm not complaining. And then you've got this. So if you go into the Lego store right now, you'll see the Minecraft, um, what is it? The Mountain Cave, and it has a little mine track that goes through, and there's a little mine cart and everything. Here it is, in mini Lego form in this apartment. So that's what I'm saying, guys. If you are a Lego fanatic, you know a lot about it, you go to the Lego store often, you'll understand all these little hidden clues and little things that just really please the mind of a Lego fan. So it looks absolutely incredible, just sitting right there. They've got it in there with their little Lego set built up. It's actually quite a large Lego set. Um, you can see they've got the Lego Eiffel Tower in there, which is supposed to be their own little built up set. It looks really cool sitting right in this little window well right here. You can kind of see it through the outside. Um, come over here, you've got your kitchenette. So you've got a microwave right here. There's nothing in there, but you can definitely fit something in there. Got a few shelves for your uh, pots and pans, whatever. You've got a sink. You got a stove and you've got a little oven right here. The stove's got some controls on it. You've got a picture of a London bridge right there. You've got another shelf with some mini creator houses. So this looks like the little camping lodge house that you can build for Lego. You've got this little uh, blue structure, not sure what that is, and another little house, guys. So it looks really cool. And then you've got your couch. You guys are thinking, well, where's the bed? If it's an apartment, where are you gonna sleep? Well, in my case, I'd probably just sleep on the couch anyways, but there's a secret. This couch isn't just a couch. So if you lift up on it in just the right way and push down, this couch turns into a bed. So that's really neat that they threw that in there, the little futon. Very easy to pick back up. You just close the bottom like this, pull in, and you can see it actually, oh no, I broke it. Um, let's see if I can put it back together real quick. Just put it back in there. Well, I'll have to fix that on my off time, but definitely really cool, guys. So let's come around to the back. So there is the Lego fan apartment. One of my favorite parts about the set, guys. I would fix the couch right now. There's just a little pin that needs to be put back on, but it flew across the little apartment and I don't want to waste my time on that. So if you come out your back door here, which is really cool from your apartment, you can walk over here and there's roof access. So you can walk up onto the roof, which I have removed. Um, but there's also a barbecue grill out here, an oven, a little fire burning furnace right there. You've got some pans 
So a little tool right there. There's a little nook over there to put some more stuff and stash away. Um, there's a cup hanging on the wall, another pot. There's a dead plant, which is very sad. You should have put a live plant, Lego, but it still looks cool. Very, very cool. Two little seats and a little another mug right there. Uh, guys, it looks really cool. I'm very satisfied with the way that looks right there. You've got this little chimney coming off that does have detail on the other side as well. Looks very cool. So moving on from the third level, it's like the detail just gets more and more as you go on. So let's sit that down. You come over here and here is the photo studio. So if you turn it around the front, let me give you a look of where we're at in the building. So this is the second level of the middle building and you can see there's a photo studio. Now if you've ever gone and got your family portraits taken or pictures, you can see that this little roll right here, this reel, is the background of the green screen almost with printed stuff on it. Usually there will be printed stuff on it and it'll roll down onto the ground and you'll stand somewhere around right where they've got those studs for the minifigure. But really cool that they threw that much detail in and didn't just put a little sticker or another some kind of plate with printing on it in the back. They actually made it look very, very legitimate. So there's the little tool right, right down there where you can pull it out. All the windows very detailed and closed off. Definitely got the right lighting in there. Big, giant, old-fashioned style camera, which does pivot and move around on its uh, little tripod. You got a little flash using a cool translucent diamond doorknob, which looks amazing. You got a little cabinet back here with some extra lenses and probably some extra uh, film reel. And then you've got a picture on the wall of probably uh, some sort of example of a picture they took here of a customer or a client actually looks really good guys so there's that and you can also walk across through this little door everything's like I said very accessible from every place you can get to anywhere in this place there's a little clock on the wall now this here is the dentist's office so this is right where this guy right here belongs so here's the dentist now, I really like that they made it look like there's water in the sink or some sort of sterile material to clean off their tools. There's even a little plant in a pot back here, which absolutely looks incredible. A little waiting bench over here with some studs on it. Guys, forgive my lighting. I'm trying to keep it as uh, easy to see as possible. You've got a little bit of a cash register, and here's the other side of the counter, guys, so that you can see. Uh, there's a couple little magazines here. Uh, just sitting in there don't want to reach in there and break anything But you can see there's some magazines right there for the customers to read so that's more of a waiting area back there uh, Here's where all the fun happens though So you can see there's a little picture on the wall of a boat sailing on a calm night sea With the moon in the background you've got this cabinet with some uh, jars in there I'm assuming that's probably where they'll keep some cotton swabs and some medicine Maybe some numbing agents for your mouth you can see there's the sink with the little nozzle couple little drawers and guys there's actually stuff in these drawers if I can reach in and open it you'll see there's actually some little tools in there they did not have to do that that is one thing that impressed me so much about this set is everywhere where they don't even need to have detail there is detail so you can see right here they've got this really legitimate uh, scale sized seat for you to sit a minifigure on you've got an overhead light right here um, yeah it looks really cool the shine into the mouth you got that cool mint green colored uh, tiles and the bed does go down, it does go up. Very, very, very cool. Got a little syringe right there, it looks cool. I mean, I'm not complaining. This is one of the coolest parts of the set probably, but here's the dentist's office. So you have officially seen it. Let's go ahead and lift. This whole part comes up as two to probably make the integrity of the structure a lot stronger. So let's get that out of the way and let's look down into the bakery, guys. One of the cooler parts of the set. Now there's another clock in a different style right here and that is not a sticker, take my word for it, that is a printed piece. So you can see where you come in and where you exit as well. So you exit low, come in high. Um, looks really cool. You can come over here and in the window they've got on display some little uh, cupcakes and probably some cherry or strawberry danishes or decorative cookies. The ground on the bottom right here is some tile, looks really cool, I love the colors they used, that really cool. Uh, uh, sandy tan color and some bright white colored tiles you can see right here it's almost when you go to an ice cream parlor you can see where they keep things well they've got the same deal going on down here so you've got some almost Simpson style donuts going on behind there and some swirly cookies or mints something very delicious behind that wall you've got another cash register for the bakery guy to stand behind let's put him in here actually so he's in place here is mr. Baker himself 
Uh, you can see there's another shelf with uh, some cakes on there. There's some cherries. There's a croissant. There's uh, another cake with it looks like some uh, whipped cream on top. And there also looks like there's some sort of, uh, no idea what it is, but it looks delicious. Use your imagination, guys. Um, looks really cool. You've got a wedding cake right there, which looks absolutely amazing. The way they built it just has so much detail. You can kind of see it better through the window because it's kind of hard to get a camera down in there. But yeah, guys, look at that detail. I mean, you come down in here and let's look down in the pet shop slash flower shop. So sadly, they only kind of put one pet in here and that is this parrot, which looks really cool. They fuse some nice colors together. It almost looks tie-dye. Uh, but he probably is very annoying when he's in the shop. It, I like how they use this little uh, fire hydrant tip to make it look like he's perched on some sort of stick when in all reality it's only half and he's just standing on the stud, but it looks so cool. So he got some little drill outs for eyes. He's a nice cool color of uh, some cyan blue mixed with some uh, banana yellow. Let's put him back. So you look in the back, you've got some flowers to buy for your significant other, for a funeral, whatever. Let's keep it at significant other to make it seem less depressing. Um, in this little jar, you've got a little uh, lizard in there, which looks really cool. I wish I could show you guys, but there's a little chameleon in there on top of the counter, greeting each customer as they come in saying, buy me, please, I hate this jar. But anyways, you can open up this little thing, that little counter right there so that you can get back there. There's a cash register, of course. Some little drawers, probably where they keep food for the iguana or chameleon, whatever he is. Some sort of aquatic lizard, uh, tropical lizard, uh, correct my mistake. There's some more roses, different flowers and plants in the back. Uh, there's a little $100 bill right there. I don't know what they're, what kind of flower they're paying $100 for, but whatever they're paying $100 for, if it's a flower, they need to rethink their life decisions. Um, but yeah, guys, this is so cool. So that is the assembly square. As you can see, I've got different shops and levels all over the place once this thing's fully taken apart. I hope I showed you guys enough detail. I really hope you guys enjoyed this set. I sure had a lot of fun building it. it took me about 10 straight hours to build the set, but it was fun the whole time. Oh, before guys, guys, before I get too sidetracked, there, that little pin I showed you before on the back of this wall, when you push right here, this is one of the most important parts of the bakery, you push it out, and you push out a tray of delicious fancy cookies on a sheet coming out of a massive oven. That's important. It's a good thing I got that. But yeah, guys, so much detail. Coolest freaking Lego set I've ever built. If you're a Lego fan, you'd really, really enjoy it. If you're a Lego enthusiast, you need to buy it before it's gone because this thing's gonna be very expensive to buy used from other people because people are going to be like, well, you can't buy it anywhere else, so pay me $375 for it. And that'll be at the beginning. So telling you guys, if you want to build something that'll build some value and you want to buy something that'll, well, look amazing with any of your custom LEGO cities, go ahead and pick this up. I am telling you, you will not regret it. 100%. Definitely a keeper for me. So guys, this is me, Matt. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't, whatever you guys got to do. And thanks for watching Bricks and Studs.